Hey friends, what's up? Koss here, and this week we don't have the face cam. I just want to get this tutorial out. It should be pretty quick and easy. Um, this is just a continuation. I've done a, a tutorial on mind reset as well as the mind blacklist, how to get all that set up. Yeah, this is a fun feature put out by Bitwolfie, and uh, what this does is it allows you to put signs by your minds or in other areas. Um, that have dynamically changing information on them, which is helpful for, like, say, to see when the next mind reset is. This is what we're going to set up here today. Um, and now here's on my development server, and here's our VIP mine that we have. And the unique ID of that mine is just VIP. So what you want to do is you want to start by placing a sign, and then you want to... you. Basically, it's kind of weird. You have to set a parent sign, and then you have to put child signs around it that will display the, the changing information. So we want to distinguish that this is a parent sign by showing which mine it's going to be referencing. So he also, in his description, has this R value. The R value is optional. You don't need it in there. It's If you want to put a button near it, that will allow users to reset the mine. If you're going to do that, be sure to put a cooldown timer for that. Um, so that they can't just reset it whenever they want or you can just put it on a timer don't put that there so we're gonna do that that's gonna show the mind name and then um, we're gonna just do this resets every 24 hours and I actually have this up on my server if you want to hop in and check it out so we've created the sign but it hasn't doing anything yet we need to right click on it and initialize it now I got um, some sign protection stuff so anyway all right now it says VIP, uh, which is the name of the mine. Now we got to put the child signs anywhere around this sign. And we're just going to do this. But you need to distinguish that it's a child sign by just doing M at the beginning of it. That's all you need to do. And um, we'll just we'll just do this one. Reset is in. And then we're going to change the, the color of it. I like, uh, I think this is blue or teal. And then this is the time left. There's a whole list of variables that you can use. Um, and they are, I'll put a link in the description for that. And you can um, do that. So now, as you can see, it hasn't done anything yet. You need to reinitialize the, the main sign. And then it, it, this one will update. And now you can see that it's counting down. And we can actually check mine time VIP. There we go. So, a little off. Well, no, it's not off. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, you can also do, like, uh, you can have it dynamically show when it resets. Um, but we don't need to do that because that doesn't change. Uh, mine resets every, we're going to do the B, and then P time is the time that it takes that it'll show when it resets. So, once you put, add that, you reinitialize the main one and... There we go. Mine resets every 24 hours, essentially. So, and then there's cooldown timers, and uh, you know, just check the link. Uh, that's it. So, if you um, if you want to download this, I don't have my build, but I did put out a prison server build, which includes prison mine reset and has all this functionality already built in. You just need to uh, build it. It's all configured, ready to go. You can download download that in the description as well. So I hope this was helpful. If you found it helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have a question, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer. If I can't, if I do, if I can't answer it, I'll try to get a hold of the the author. You can also post on his bucket page. Show some love to Bitwolfy because this is a fantastic little plugin. And um, oh yeah, side note: if you are using Prison Mine, um, it does have some problems with the world edit selection. If if you find that you can't create more than one mine, um, try selecting the new area with with uh, slash Prison HPOS one or two, and then that will allow you to select the areas. Um, and that is it. So this is Cosmic from McFriends, and as always, enjoy the game. Yeah. Crowbar. Yeah, wield that crowbar. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are sparks shooting out of my butt? That's kind of weird. Pick it up.